Hey again, it's me, Austin. So you made it to that point, made it to that point in which you are now perusing the UX onboarding issue. This is a great issue to help you get familiarized with how the UX department works as a whole, but also learn a little bit more ancillary information around the way that we work, um, some of the channels that you should join, some of the uh, pages that will be useful to bookmark. Um, I think what's probably been the most useful thing for me to refer back to almost, it feels like a daily basis, uh, is the uh, groups and teams page. This is the one that breaks down all of our different groups and stages into their different um, organizational components. So you can see which designers in which group, which devs work in which area. I refer back to this page all the time just to get to know where people are, what they do. Uh, this makes it easier to address people in issues or in merge requests just to know who is the pertinent person for a conversation. Um, I've done my best to kind of scroll through and refine and cut out as much as I can that's not necessary or fix links that maybe um, were empty. It's totally possible you're gonna run into broken stuff. If something's missing or you have a question, just drop a comment in this issue, tag me in it, and when I'm back, I will definitely jump on that first thing. Um, yeah, otherwise, uh, there's gonna be some stuff that's gonna start guiding you towards learning more about your group, um, so the compliance team itself. And uh, we have another issue that we'll work through together uh, and transitioning some of those responsibilities. We'll talk more specifically about what we're working on, uh, where we're at in today's landscape just to help you jumpstart a little bit quicker. Uh, but yeah, overall, this is just more to kind of familiarize with, familiarize you with the user experience at GitLab, some of the challenges that we face as a broader organization. Um, there are some pretty techie stuff in there, like a, a great example of something that I spent a good bit of time on, but don't necessarily know if it was worthwhile, was like deep diving into Docker and Kubernetes. Um, I could understand them like conceptually. I don't think I could retain a lot of that information that I spent a few days trying to learn um, when I was onboarding. So, you know, take take the components that you think are important. Um, take what you can. Leave what you can't figure out. It's okay. You have time to learn. Uh, over time, you'll probably even learn that there there's more depth to GitLab than you could have ever imagined, and you'll just have to kind of learn on the fly. The important thing is just you're learning how to find the information you need. And so this is just getting you familiarized with how to do those things. Um, yeah, and all this is just loosely guidance, but it's it's just a lot of reading. So, I mean, I personally felt like mentally burnt out by just reading and reading and reading. So, I mean, if you're at that point now, like get up, take a break, go for a walk, if your weather accommodates that where you live right now. Um, but yeah, and just like sit there, reflect, share things that are going well, which has been challenging. Uh, like I said, this is your chance to really look at GitLab with fresh eyes. So love to hear anything and everything that you got. Uh, it's always uh, a fun conversation. Hope it's going well so far.